Foster America is a national nonprofit that is working collectively to reform the child welfare system through a bunch of different lenses, thinking through how the system can be reformed, how the system can work with ancillary systems like education and health, but really just through thinking, how do we put the needs of children and families at the center of the child welfare system in a way it currently is not? Part of the thing about complex problems is that uh, whenever you fix one piece of it, the whole system will change, right? That's why transforming the child welfare system is not gonna happen just because we have a, the right array of evidence-based programs, right? Foster America is on a mission to help build a society in which all children, youth, and families thrive. We do this by bringing talent and building capacity to power innovations that strengthen families and transform this country's approach to child welfare and child protection. I want to welcome everybody on behalf of the board of Foster America. It's so exciting to see people face to face. Thriving Family Safer Children partners are here. Walk in here and it looks like it's a Thriving Families meeting and that's really exciting, particularly those with lived experience. We learned that families who are receiving TANF, so low-income families, who experience a material hardship have an increased likelihood of involvement with child protection. I think the state of the foster care system um, for some is an area of crisis because we're facing huge staffing issues. There are uh, measures that we've improved greatly upon, but there's a lot of work to be done. Um, child welfare really involves the interventions uh, with families who have had investigations around neglect or abuse of children. Sometimes that means that those interventions allow for a child to remain in their homes. Sometimes that means that a child is removed from their homes. And I will tell you that I think one of the questions we have to challenge ourselves is whether or not child welfare is engaged uh, just because something is missing or whether it's really a child safety issue. And I think that's been conflated for far too long. Um, I would probably change the level of bureaucracy that it currently exists. I would change how we communicate from the feds to the states to the counties. You know, I would just make more plain language. Almost like 70% of every penny that we spend on children in the system is on when things have gone catastrophically bad. We flipped that pyramid and we invested 70% of child welfare funding into preserving families and getting parents what they need when they need it. That is a real children first system. The overall theme is really creating safe space. Safe space for these youth where they have someone that they can talk to that understands them, that there's more opportunities available to them so they don't feel like there's no other options than a life of exploitation. When I think about all those different varying perspectives, that's what's needed because people all often look at just the child welfare agency. They don't look at the whole system. So having these different presenters shows the system perspective. The crisis at hand for me right now is the pain that the child welfare workforce is currently in. And it's manifested by people saying, I will not stay. I cannot stay. We are seeing six times the vacancy rates that we saw before COVID in child welfare agencies. If our fire departments were 60% vacant, we would have a national conversation about what are we going to do. Some of the folks are fellows who are with Foster America who have been working for the last year and a half. Some are national experts and researchers in the field of child welfare. Uh, it is a nice mix. This is what we're talking about when we say Kim First. We're talking about engaging families. We're talking about getting to a sense of belonging for young people. Yeah, I think definitely from our sessions from last night to today, I'm coming away thinking about how we make a system that is more enticing than our current system. Foster America wants to create change and engage change makers across the country, making child welfare systems stronger and the systems that support child welfare, like foundations and philanthropy and education systems. It's such a joy to be in community with all of you as we gather to share best practices and challenges together, to struggle together, and to reimagine a more holistic, just child well-being system together. I hope that the future of child welfare looks like removals in the worst case scenarios only. I hope that it looks like the inclusion of family to support one another, so kinship care all around, so that families are accessing what they need, where they are, with folks they are already doing life with. If we could see other people and help them find the golden rule, it would, it would change the world.